Out of curiosity, this is what the loading screen says. So you can load it. Was, I think that's probably when I started, right? Zero o'clock at the theater, and then 11 minutes later in the cathedral or something. Harrispex deaths zero. So I've not had a single checkpoint or save since we started the whole train segment. Ever since we started over, basically. What am I hearing? I'm kind of in inclined to think that this is supposed to make it so that if you are stealing around people that it's a little harder to do it. Blood Twire! And Black Twire. All of this looting is of course Im unimportant if the game decides to reset again. But I think we are finally actually here, right? Oh, can't go that way. <laughs> Infected blood and rusty scalpel. Can I read that? Who's laughing? Stop laughing. Don't laugh at me. What is happening? The laughing keeps getting louder. <laughs> this is bizarre. I was summoned back to my hometown by a distressing letter from my father, but who is in the back room? For the first time in many years, I'm home. Interesting. If this is the quest log, this seems like it's the central goal I have at any given moment, is this thing. It's like you have drives and offshoots of them. <laughs> What? After the intro, the game will no longer autosave. Find places to save manually. That's a strong hint right there. I think I've heard you can save at whatever your given HQ is. I don't know if there are other ones, other places. But that's going to change the texture of this. <laughs> Day one, in which Harrispex finds out his hometown has changed beyond recognition. I'm sure they're all fine. He probably just, uh, defeated them in a sound debate. Uh, yeah, once again, all the items I've found so far are not in my inventory. Immunity, exhaustion, hunger, thirst. Green. Okay, what's the green and red mean? Pocket watch. Broken scissors. Oh, the pocket watch is two slots. Bit of money. Some fishing hooks. Charm. These must be different categories that mean different things. Soldier food. It's better to eat fresh bread. Some toast. 
A chestnut. There are no chestnut trees around, yet chestnuts are pervasive. Truly a town of mysteries. Is there going to be a nut economy again? Did they name them all? The worst is yet to come. Oh, there's his face down there. Okay, so this time around, the dog heads are explicitly little, like, dinky, stitched together masks and not like photorealistic nightmares. You hit hard for a hunchback, but whoa, boy, you screwed up. Those three guys are dead. I saw you do it, too. You're going to be in serious trouble. A hunchback. Kid, I'm bent over in pain here. You need to handle that bleeding old man. You're covered in blood. Your own blood. I know that. Here you go. A tourniquet. I, I, it used to be my leash, but seems like you need it more. Are you, wait, are you guys actually role-playing as dogs now? Is that a thing? Thanks. You're a nice kid. Man, you really have some anger problems, don't you? Zing, pow, blam, three guys dead. This ain't the right way. Ain't how we do things around here. Yeah, what's the right way then? Well, you gotta be nicer. Just hit him. Three times, max. Send him running. And let him run. You don't actually have to kill everyone who bothers you. Jeez. I'll keep that in mind. I should try not to be bled to death. I was summoned back to my hometown by a distressing letter from my father. I should hurry home. In this letter, father wrote that he will face a difficult trial. Or did he write we? I don't remember. Did you lose the letter? I met a funny dog-eared kid at the station. What was he doing there? Home sweet home welcomed me with its knives honed. What does this mean? Yeah, they were they're out to get us. They're blaming us for what's happening here already, which we don't even know what's happening here yet. So this is an interesting little menu. Huh. This is different. Isidore Burroughs' house. My father's house. My house. So there's my goal. And I'm down here. Straightforward enough. Let's see if I can haul ass up to there. But how's my reputation? Oh, thank God. No one cares about me. That's already a big difference. Nobody caring about me. The last game started with everybody wanting me dead on day one, which is kind of a brutal way to start the game. Uh, how do I use this tourniquet? Touch? Alexander Sabarov hoped to outlaw tourniquets in a desperate attempt to protect his Katerina from morphine addiction. What a silly idea. One can't just outlaw bands made out of rubber and leather. That's also a incredibly roundabout a way of trying to get somebody in your household to quit using a drug is to outlaw a medical device for everybody everywhere. God damn. How many things can I look at this way? Pocket watch. Victor K never carries a watch around, but always knows the correct time. Down to the second. We've tested him. Can he tell by the stars? He's got fantastic eyes, if that's the case. Does a water bottle have a briefing? <laughs> yep. Fresh water is carried into the town daily from Step Springs, then distributed by water bearers. The Gorkhorn water has long been poisoned by the factory pollution. It's dangerous to even touch. So don't touch the water in the river. Let's try to use this tourniquet so I stop bleeding. And hopefully we'll be in a good shape. When the cat's away, the mice will play. The one with the knife was Kirik. A leather worker. Not gonna cry for him. That guy was nuts. Was this an ambush? How long were they waiting for me? They weren't waiting for you. I think you were an accident. Then who was the real target? I don't know. Rumors going around that someone else got murdered tonight. Guess I should sniff around and find out. Who knows, maybe it's true. Good boy. Hmm, is he gonna follow up on that then? 
Someone important was murdered tonight. Oh, we have four plot threads already. Okay. It's gonna get busy. And they won't talk to me at this point. Alright. Let's get going. Is there an indicator of what time it is? 7.45 in the morning, day one. Opening the map does not make time pass anymore. But we gotta... Ha this is a game about moving and transit. Like Dead Rising and Dynasty Warriors. Getting from point A to point B as fast as possible is how you get things done. I think time hopefully still pauses during conversations, but yeah, we're in a hurry. Generally speaking. Talon. Well, Burak, you're nearly dead. Got a few minutes left. I'm here to announce your demise. How do you know my name? I know everything. Part of the unfortunate job. I've got your whole journey laid out here. And what sort of journey is it going to be? It's not pretty, Burak. Really? Why? You've been bashed in the head several times, and the locals' fists are heavy. And one of those four stab wounds looks deep. Significant blood loss, too. And the local climate is unforgiving in terms of strain. Do you have any heart conditions? Ha! Huh. Your health is a mess. I'm guessing you haven't eaten in several days. And that you didn't sleep last night, did you? That's what I thought. So your hunger and exhaustion are critical, too. I wonder which of these afflictions will be the death of you first. So what's the plan? Any good advice? Dressing your wounds would be a good idea. And where would I get bandages? A drugstore, Burak. You've been studying surgery for six years and you're just finding this out now. But it's not just about the wounds. Even when they're dressed, you still need to be aware of your body. I'm not always on your side. Or it's not always on your side. Pay attention to its needs. I'll figure it out. What next? Next? You die anyway, because the whole town will soon have it out for you. And it's not going to do with three... And it's got nothing to do with the three poor souls that you've just done in. Great. Why do they hate me? My colleague over there can explain it better. That's his role. Mine is teaching you how your body works so you don't die before you make it home. Fair enough. Forewarned. Forearmed. Beak. Welcome back home, Warden. You've been away a while. You probably don't even remember the heady scent of Twire in the air. Do you know why you got attacked? No clue. The whole town is looking for a murderer. A very important and respected man was killed last night. The townsfolk loved him better than some children loved their fathers. Don't be too hard on them. Who was killed? You knew the victim. Less than you thought, but more than most. Don't worry, you'll learn more soon, but I personally can't divulge this sort of information. Investigator's privilege. Less than you thought, but more than most definitely screams that it'd be Burke's father. So you're an investigator? Aren't we all? Everyone lies. So you can only get to the bottom of things by using your brain. That's what your father used to say. It's an actual quote from him, by the way, because I happen to know him, and we got even better acquainted today. How about you? Did you two argue much? Why do you care so much, bird? Indeed, old Isidore Burke is the exemplar of a true doctor, and a true human being, if a miserable one. Do you honor your father? He's the reason I returned. He summoned me with a letter. Said there was a threat. Do you know anything about it? Nothing's a threat to him anymore. Trust me. Maybe dishonor. But even that's unlikely. You're a man of obligation, aren't you? After all? Yeah, so that's... 
they're being rather un unambiguous about who died now. Runs in the family. Why? Whatever. That bit's not important. Time is short. Oh, by the way, Baruch. Time is important. Be careful how you spend it. And be aware that you don't have much left. How much? You've got less than two weeks, Baruch. Twelve or so days. Trust me, I'm a... Specialist. So use your time well. And hurry home now. Why are you wasting your time here? Your father's waiting. I should hurry home. That's true. That's why I returned to town after all. I gotta say, it's nice having a dialogue screen that fits the resolution and screen space we actually have in the game and isn't like an upscaled version of an old interface with tiny, tiny text. It just makes a bit more sense now. Reflection. Be quiet. He must not hear your voice. Lean close. He only speaks and lies and wants you dead. I'll be damned. Does everyone want me dead? Don't go home, Baruch. Stay clear of home. In town you have some friends yet, do you not? Yes, three of them. We were inseparable when we were kids. The town is yours, Baruch. May you soon find how deep, how far its roots run down your spine. May you inhabit it, sink through its pores, learn vein and artery, nerve and blood and cell. You need no home beyond the town itself. Forget that place you so eagerly seek. I beg forgiveness. Grievous harm will come to me, should I tell you more than I can. I'll keep what you said in mind. I guess I'll talk to you. What's up with that? Persistent, huh? Good. Maybe you'll even survive a day or two this way. Got a bite? Bird seed's fine. Food is sold in shops, though your reputation might prevent you from a warm welcome. But there's a meat warehouse nearby that was conveniently broken into recently. The perpetrators walked down the railroad tracks there, ahead and to the right. Think you can catch up to them? Not sure. To be honest, I'm dead tired. Eh, yes. The railroad track that goes through the warehouse is just a stone's throw away. So go down the tracks and to the right. Godspeed, Burke. Though I doubt it'll be easy. God's presence or not. Any useful advice, then? Be careful. Be stealthy. People are scared out of their minds now, and quick to attack. Trust no one. Speak to my esteemed colleague over there. He wants a word with you. Alright. Does he, though? No, he doesn't. You're done now. This is the talking screen. Let's see the controls. How do I stealth in this setup right now? C. Okay, so crouch, gotcha. Raise hands is Q, reload is R, fist is 1. People, those are hotkeys to menu items. Okay. This is stealth mode? I don't think I, is there also a crouch item button or is it just that? Because I, I don't think I even crouch. C. Looks like you just press C. It's a down the tracks and to the right. Ah, to this right. Because the warehouses are down here. Because this is where, at least in the previous iteration of the game, the criminal element tended to be. Where's that spotlight coming from? Oh. What's up? Is it just automated? Warehouses. 
Only rats live here. Dare I? Maybe I can just have a chat with them without fighting it out directly. Yeah? Oh yeah, you. Nightjar. She must be offended or ashamed. She's free to go, we told her, but she refuses. I'll have you know, we were respectful. We only checked her legs, it's mandatory. And she had normal human legs. So, free to go now. Yet there she stands. Oh, we're doing this. You checked her legs, what for? Neither clay nor bone. She's a normal living girl, not a shop knock. And so, she's free to go. Yet she doesn't. She must be offended. The step people have odd morals. They don't fear death. They refuse to cut a body and are ashamed of strange things. What shop knock? A shop knock. A creature of steppe legends. They say Earth disgorges it, and then steals a woman's form, and goes around murdering folks. It's all silly, of course, but we have an order to check, so we do. Does anyone actually believe these old wives' tales? Oh, so you're an outsider then. You see all kinds of things around here. The Earth here is special. It breathes. Alright, and who are you? We are Sabrov's people. Each of the three houses assigned someone to look for the monster. The Olgimskis, the Canes, of course, and obviously the Sabrovs. The latter being us. And who might you be, good sir? I'm Isidore Burak's son. I've returned home after six years. Oh. Said my regards to your father. A most respectable man. He dragged my daughter from beyond the grave. And we almost gave up on her. You tell him that. Tell him that Peter the Nightjar sends his fondest regards. Will you stop hovering over the girl? You won't comfort her. You're only making it worse. Just go. I checked her legs to see if she was the Sh Shabnak Adur. Adir. Shabnak Adir. A clay golem of local legends steals the shape of young women. So we're sticking with that. So this, so a lot of similarities so far. We have a murder on the first day. I'm here to see my father. I meet a dog head, and there's the hunt for the Shabnak Adir. There's a grocery there that was that was broken into. I go into these places? Nope, they all seem pretty closed off. Seeing this all look so different is a trip. Hello. Redhead Grigory Fillin, aka Bad Grief, always goads me into doing crazy stunts. We used to have a secret lair in the warehouse. So is that one of your old friends? I was wondering who the three friends were you were referring to. I didn't know... I don't know if the game, the previous game really established this character as having three specific friends from the old days. Blood. Oh, so it shows our relationship here. We have a blood relationship with Isidore Burak. This is where bad grief is, is this building. We gotta meet Bad Grief. Oh, look at his throne he's got this time. And that looks a lot like it's the guy from the train. Yeah. Oh. Creepy tragedy and floating over him. Var the usurer wages war on all poorer. Just nailed Barley down. Here we go, all around. Well, look who's entered my humble home. Could that be my pal, Artemy the Artist? The Artemy who cuts arteries, maybe. No, 
I don't recognize this man. Too soft. They must have kept him swaddled and coddled. Whatever place he ran off for. Palace he ran off for. Palace. I left for school. Climb the ladder then? Not the same one you're on. You're no fun. Aren't you happy to see an old friend? Oddly enough, I am. Odd indeed. Why so cheery? This place brings back memories. Forget it. Tell me this, friend. What's your plan? My plan? Why do you ask like that? Cub. Your old man got killed this night. You haven't heard? What? You're lying. Hell, Artemy, half the town wants your head over this, those fools. Ah, easy to fix. Give me a little time. Go ahead if you want. What's the plan then? Revenge? Or something with a little more finesse? I'll find out who's behind this. Then we'll see. Just stay away from Sabrov. I mean it, Cub. The man's a hawk. All might makes right. No sense. He'll throw you in jail for first and, o and only think months later. I know you're thick skull, too. You'd charge in there, soldiers, shoulders squared, thinking, oh, the truth will win out. Bullshit. Stay away, you hear me? Mind your own skull, all right? Woo, that's, yeah, that's a lot of pop-ups you'd expect for the discovery that our dad's dead. I need to find the people who still remember me. People who will believe me without proof, who can vouch for me. So now we need to clear a name. Things immediately sh shifted gears. Alexander Sabarov, the town's governor, is in charge of investigation. I remember him. A stern man. This might be easier to navigate than the previous quest log, which was a giant, linear, like, Morrowind-style journal, which is a bit much. Father's dead. I was too late. Just connected, connected to the letter, but there's a central node here that looks important. And now we know that the someone, someone was murdered today is connected to the letter. Yep. The journal's connecting the... People that came out with knives with the idea that somebody was murdered with the idea that we have a journal, uh, letter from our father. Looks like anything that's red you can click on on left click and it'll take you to the location so you can tell where it is. That's handy. So I need to figure out who I can talk to to clear my name. There's a dog guy. There's a few things to juggle. L? What does it say? Ah. Blood and bones. Okay. We can't click on these, so I can't, like, inspect what these menus mean. But here's bad grief. And there's a save point. Grigory's reflection. Even in a handcrafted town like this, there's an underground, a rat's nest. At odds with the law, at odds with good morals, people come to them with dubious challenges and requests. Who are you? A reflection. Call me his conscience, if you will. Griefs? You know my master. He is your friend, and he hasn't changed much since you last saw him. He always loved to live on the edge, never was a stickler for rules, but he was ve but he was never truly vile or cruel. Yet he has changed. He wants to seem a kingpin, a king, a local czar of his own small turf, wants to seem, not be, play a big wheeler dealer. But that's not who he really is, he's just... Thieves and rats never tolerate false leaders. Are you telling me they're all just playing war here? Such is our town. 
You know it yourself. It's a very good village. Beautiful people live here, infusing it with a very spiritual dream. There's no real villainous crime here. Even the rats and thieves are softer. Dreams live in the upper town, not here. Closer to the bridge square. Would you like to know what your old friend is truly worried about now? He's playing a dashing scoundrel in front of you, but his soul is trembling. Well, why? He's worried that blood started to spill now. And it was probably spilled by his men. The people who rubbed shoulders with him, hiding their teeth at first. He is worried you'll think he has it all under control. Meaning today's craze was his doing. Isn't it? Perhaps he's partially responsible. Perhaps he did corrupt the, them with his talk of how any law is but chains that one must break in order to become f tr free and truly human. But he never wanted bloodshed. Keep that in mind. So the fellow bit off more than he can chew. We'll see where it leads. Wow. That's a mechanic. I wonder how many of those are gonna- like, does everyone have a shadow I can talk to, or just people that I particularly know better? That doctor's quick on the draw. Already shot someone. So much for his oath. Oh. The bachelor's busy. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. This is a change of pace. Oh god, I saved, but how does it work? Ah. They are individually accessible. I was definitely curious how that was going to play out. Oh, look, we got our first glimpse of the impossible structures. Look at that. Okay, so you save, and when you save, you just click on it and boom, instant save. But it does create an individual one. Who knows how many they keep around, though. Okay. This is going to be interesting. All right, let's go.